everybody, AmpReperguy.com, 203-892-4119, also HarbachElectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, so it's Monday. Time to get back to work. We have an AL80B in for repair, and then I'm going to get the Harbach kits packed up and uh, get some other stuff done. So let's get started. So first off, the older ones didn't have, they had the, the points on the board to add a resistor. This resistor acts like a fuse. It's in series with the 12 volt accessory line because sometimes people would connect the key line to the 12 volt accessory line, putting a dead short on it by accident. And then it will damage the rectifier for that supply. So someone added it, but they didn't cut the trace open so I'll have to redo that someone did something with the ALC wire I'm gonna have to figure that out uh, to look at the schematic sorry I have my finger in the video I know people don't like seeing hands so look I looked at it I always look at the band switch I can't see the contacts in the front so but you know, this doorknob cap down there is damaged, so there's a good chance that the front set of contacts are damaged. They switched the, this in and out for 80 and 160, part of the tank circuit, and this connection was just touching over to that ceramic cap over there, so I'm going to replace that, put a doorknob cap in. They used that one because it was cheaper. Okay, um... I also noticed poor solder work on the tap points the coil. I will fix those and actually it's like it's not touching but almost touching on the side between these turns. I'll ground the grid connections directly to the metal, remove the metal oxide varistors, I'll do the 10 meter modification, I'll change the SO239s, I'll clean uh, the the uh, input rotor switch with deox gold, the two relays with deox gold, obviously change that relay. Uh, if it needs a band switch, if the front contact set is messed up, I will just replace the whole band switch. I have them in stock, reserved for repairs for the moment. Uh, I will be stocking up at some point to sell them on my Harbach site, but right now, just not yet, soon. Um, so. I'll get to work, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Stay tuned. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd re really appreciate it. 73. I forgot to mention something. There was a doorknob here also for padding. And uh, I, di I started to diagnose this last week. And then I ordered the parts. So I'd have them this week. So that doorknob was also damaged. So I removed it. So it'll get a brand new one, and uh, I don't know if someone changed this band switch at some point, but they did a horrible job. Horrible, horrible job. Unless it was like that from the factory, but I, I doubt it. I think someone, if, I'm pretty sure someone's had their hands on this before, so. When you go to buy an amp, pictures, pictures, pictures. I've said it before, look at pictures, look at my videos, compare what you see in the amp that you're looking to purchase versus one that I've gone through just to see what revisions it already has if it has any just save you save you a headache you know some people they mono band them you don't want one of those I mean there are all sorts of different things you just don't want you just have to be really careful but uh, this will be better than new when I'm done with it so we're so sure Okay, so I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Okay, so the old one's out. I haven't prepped everything yet to put a new one in. Whoever changed it, someone definitely changed it. They just did a horrendous job. Horrendous. So here's the old one. You see the doorknob cap is destroyed. They also really destroyed the tabs on this. So I'm not going to try to reuse this one. The contacts 
been overheated in the front switch, but I'm just going to replace it. I have a new one. Brand, brand new. Brand, 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 brand new. So, getting a brand, brand, brand new switch. Okay, so, I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned. So the band switch is in. That was fun. <laughs> so I removed the metal oxide varistors and the filament lead just came right off the board. Looks like there's some solder on there, but I don't see any solder on the board where it should be soldered. So I'll fix that and I'll get back to work. I removed the socket and installed one gas discharge tube. I'm like, well, wait a sec. One of these leads is like half the gauge the other. So <laughs> that's a first with one of these. So I'm going to place them both and uh, get back to work. See you guys soon. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm wrapping it up, getting ready to test it. Notice that someone screwed up when they soldered the one of the line wires only some of the strands are going through the hole so I'm going to fix that and uh, check over more of the wiring before I proceed with testing it. Okay, see you guys soon. Okay so we're finally back with the completed Ameritron AL80B. Customer wants to see working on 40 meters. Okay, so you got the one KW slug, Bird 43, with the Bird 43 PEP kit installed and engaged, going into a Bird attenuator dummy load. There are the settings, meters, radio set to 40 meters, audio hello, roughly 80 watts or so. Audio hello, audio hello, 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 audio hello, 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 hello. This is why I always recommend an external meter. The internal one always reads a little bit low. Tit, 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 tit. Hello, 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 hello. Audio hello, hello, hello. And it can change depending on what band you're on. It's just not as accurate as an external meter. You always want an external meter. So you see it's working. Audio hello, 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 hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. Have no reflect. T -t 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 -t. Flat, 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 flat. Okay, so I'm gonna let the tube cool off and I'll show you the inside. See you guys soon. Okay, so we're back with the completed Maritron AL80B. I'll show you everything I did. So here's the old band switch. Put a brand new one in. Everything's wired nice, nice. All of the connections. So much had to be fixed. Oh man, just so much work. New doorknob cap down there. It's 170 puff. New one up here. One's a 170, one's a 500. All brand new. Place the wires for the filament. Stranded uh, silver plated copper with the Teflon dielectric, added the two gas discharge tubes below the socket, grounded each grid connection right to the metal, fixed wire connections, I redid the buck boost set of wires, strapper, uh, strapping also the 120 240 strapping see the, the conductor there so I put the proper resistor in which acts as a fuse for the 12 volt accessory jack and I cut the trace because the trace was not cut so it was basically just in parallel with the trace before fix the wire you saw under here Also, fix the solder joint for one of the line connections on one of the fuse holders. Brand new SO239s for max gain systems. Just awesome, awesome people over there. This is getting a brand new Pentatube. Customer has to purchase it, gets the dealer price. Also, re soldered the leads on the uh, the line interlock here, they were not good. 
the ALC wiring was okay. Clean the input rotary switch with deoxygold, the bias slash tear relay with deoxygold, soft start relay with deoxygold, put a brand new 10 ohm resistor in for the soft start. Fix the connections, the tap connections over here, they were just horrible. I don't know if this was all factory done or if someone went in here, but there were just so many little things that just had to be touched up. I fixed the, this is the, uh, these are the secondary leads coming off the transformer for the filament, and this just fell right out. So I fixed that and uh, removed the metal oxide variistors, replaced the meter protection diode. Someone had replaced it, did a really poor job. And uh, that's about it. So if you need an amp repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. Websites are amprepairguy.com and also harbachelectronics.com. Almost forgot. I also replaced the transistor for the dynamic bias circuit. So, a brand new one. I always put just a thin, thin layer of thermal grease in the back of it and then I crank it nice and tight up against the wall. You just put enough on there to cover the surface. That's all you need, just the thinnest layer, just enough so you can't see the back of the transistor anymore. All right, so thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It's just my test tube that I have in here. So have a great day. Great night. I've been working on this all day. I think I started at 5.15. It's now 4.21. I took a, about a 15 minute lunch. So now it's dinner time. Well, again, thank you for watching. Have a great day. 73.